And greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to episode 43 of my journey through Solo Southbound Trial of the Ancestors League. Today, I will be continuing with Trial of the Ancestors grind. I still need a Warrior's Tail Jewel, and I need one more spell block tattoo. I'm almost there. I just need to get the jewel and the tattoo, and then I can go back to mapping for the time being. So I kind of went over the build yesterday, the Void Sphere and Snaring Arrow nonsense. It's very easy to do try out the Ancestors with this build. So if you want to see more how it functions in the map, I would check out yesterday's video. I'm banking on the idea that I will get the stuff I need from here and be able to move on We get back to doing something else. So I'm probably just going to probably go through the rewards mainly, what I'm getting from this, because these are really all just the same. I will throw down some Void Spheres and delete some Totems. It gets easier as I get more units. And there's the first round done. None of the crazier stuff usually comes till later on in the tournament. But I need Kilawava to give me that tattoo. And then I can really just focus Ahuana and getting through the tournaments. Hopefully I can avoid the giant turtles. Turtles, they're actually the worst. When you have a build that doesn't do damage, you have to you have to get rid of those or they will destroy you. I still really wish we could make specters of the turtles. Like that was one of my league start build ideas was to not the big turtles, but the small ones, like make specters out of those and see if what I could make of it. I'm surprised that hasn't been added in. I guess I probably want to try and remove Kahu from the tournament early because the giant turtles are part of his tribe. Yeah, he has a big turtle again. And it's an escort this time, so there's a chance it could yep, it's it's gonna it's one that's gonna have to die. Oh no, I died. Almost got the turtle. <laughs> Probably a good thing though. Drawing units away from it as it's getting close. All right, come on, get it. Maybe this is what the phase run is for. So if I don't attack, move far less visible to enemies. Hmm. But maybe it, maybe the phase run is really useful in a situation like that where I need a totem to die. Okay, someone mentioned that right here if a warrior takes five percent of their combined life and energy shield while banishing an ancestral totem they will be interrupted and unable to take any actions for a duration that's why that's why i am not stunning them that makes sense so maybe i just kind of stopped trying <laughs> like i can knock them back still but i don't gotta watch out for that i can knock them back still so it's not like completely useless to go after stuff but it might be more worth my time in a lot of those scenarios to just focus on destroying the totems. Because if I destroy the totems, I destroy them, and then it's just over. Ranking 812 grants a random keystone and a bringer of rain. I probably should have rerolled that. I really like having three of these now. It gives me three chances to like reroll a keystone. Be exalts. That'll work. Anacora's Herring Hall without ever dying during the Trial of Ancestors complete. Maybe that's something I should look into. What are the challenges here that I haven't completed? Eight Kurui Warriors with equipment and no field items. Eight field items, no warriors, no warriors or field items. That's at least 200. Use 17 of the field items. I've used one. Oh, and I guess I completed that challenge. Okay, so I did all the 300 ones. Okay. Something I can look into. Whoa, what is that? Plus one max cold res. Plus one max frenzy charges. That is insane. That's very good. With the three exalts? Right on. Wow. Now that's a predicament. I think I gotta take the divine. Right, Ahuana. Ah, uh, I can get divines everywhere though. No, I'm gonna take the exalt. And hope Ahuana wins the 50-50. And comb one, but... <laughs> There's the divine. Okay. I wonder if this is some kind of item or, or maybe it was the void sphere. Okay. But I got eight warriors with equipment and no items. The other two are going to be a little more, more difficult. Divine orb, random keystone. Cool. Five divines. I re-rolled that from a six link. Ridiculous. 848 for all attributes and five divines. 860. A 2020 animate guardian. Tattoo of bloodlines. Searing touch. Not amazingly rolled. I bet my fire staff's just better than this anyways. Ooh, 8% cooldown recovery rate requires seven adjacent passives allocated. So this is in the same realm as the projectile tattoo. 
so this is a big rare one so if i look here at the pricing on the tattoos like there's a lot of these makanga ones cold res is really good for the agus fire res is really good for chieftain 80 percent maximum total life recovery from leech eight percent curse effect is one and the cooldown recovery rate it's only 54 chaos there's a plus two all max res Honored Tattoo of the Makenga, 16% life regeneration rate. That's cool too. So basically, if you see something with Makenga in the name, that's good. 872, I got a rarity. But this cooldown recovery rate tattoo, that's that's cool. Level 20 on the GMP. I guess that doesn't really matter. Oh, Kilawava, my guy. Plus three, Replica Dragon Fangs Flight number two. Well, I have to have that. That is amazing. Frost Shield's not the best there. But this is lightning damage. I'll reroll this one. And an enhance. Kilowava. 884. Global defenses. Take another omen of revenge here. I'll then store it so I don't end up using it. Six divines and four exalts. Replica Dragon Fang. A great start to the day. Forbidden Tome. I'm getting way better at manipulating my escorts. Like I can run back here and they're going to they're going to run to me. And then I can then like draw them from whatever enemy they were attacking so that we can focus on this totem. And then I've been just like easily clearing the defenders with my like four escorts. This is speeding this up substantially. And then like if I can get all four of them to like collapse on the boss one, like absolutely wrecking these. 896. 2% life. Traded a badly rolled Apex Rage for a 2023 decoy totem with a titanic shell at the back. Hmm. All right. Let's see if I can get it. Go, go, go. Come on. Don't hit me. Don't hit me. Don't hit me. No, they hit me. They hit me. Come on. No. He got it off. Okay. I did work on it though. Somebody mentioned that I should bring like more heavy hitting minions as my escorts but i just don't have any in this round like caldera ravagers are really good because if i could if i could do this with these cremations on top of it that would absolutely help a ton go 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 go, go. ah Whew. It is the biggest chore. Deal with that. There we go. 908. A rarity tattoo. Omen of revenge. A divine. Rank 920. Three all res. Divine. Ilawa has three gilded metamorphs. That's probably good. I feel like that's above average for a final round reward. But I will reroll it. Plus one lightning res tattoo. 932. I guess I ensure max sockets. I don't need these rarity tattoos. I'm going to reroll on round five. To try and get this tattoo out of Kilawava. Nope. 15 Vol Orbs. 2023 Arc. 944. Take the 1 to 3 white sockets. I'm experimenting this time. Bring in the birds with me. I wonder if they'll come. Back. They can come down here. They can warp back here maybe. Uh, I mean they're, they're still fast. Sometimes like this they'll split. And they'll be like on multiple different totems. So that's why I like. If I want to attack this one up here. I'll run around over here for a second to like drag them all over and then we can get the one totem same with right here but a lot of times they'll just like attract to something else i feel like these ones are a little bit more with a mind of their own they have a little bit more speed but at the same time like i melted through their side really fast this round so maybe i need to stop like trying to prioritize people in the flanker lane and give myself the good fast people to come with me tahanuku 12 chisels i think that's a reroll. i'll put the thunderbirds back bring the enraged kunkuns instead i guess 17 gcps is in fact better but in rerolling, i gave him a titanic shell that is unfortunate all right i shall try half oh oh got it ha 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 i just saved myself like five minutes by getting that 956 plus one max fire plus one max endurance charges tattoo okay it's another new one so this time let me like i want to start off by just like giving myself warriors this is weird i normally am always starting with the guys but then yeah i, I drag them over drag them all back here then take out the back ones 
and can even take out Utula. Yeah, I mean, it, it works all the same. The flankers definitely help. The flankers will actually target totems, whereas the escorts will attack an enemy if it gets too close. I definitely want people in the flankers. They just don't. The fastest ones can be with me. So the spear dancer, like 100% comes with me. So then I just put it, like, maybe set up something like this. See how that goes. But I'm interested in, like, I want to run these matches as quickly as possible. Dying is not the way. And we still took them out quickly enough, but no way to really tell with a death there. Thunderbirds, I will leave on flankers because they just straight warp across the map to the totem. When they were on escort, they followed me. And then instead of putting these three up front as I would normally have, let's have them back here. So I can try this again. Okay, drag my guys down and go totems. Go next. Just collapse them on the totem, okay, and then I need to remove the other flanker, it's already gone. So, I mean, they didn't have a lot of defenders or anything, so I'd say this was a good round. I gotta remember to keep putting down the Void Sphere. Like, I'm almost clearing the map in the time of the, like, initial Void Sphere. That is fantastic. I had so many rounds today like this where both of my guys lost. Ahuana's gone, Kiloava's gone, but I gotta go through the tournament. So I guess in this case, remove Kahu as early as possible. Still gets a titanic shell. Oh wow. Okay, so the turtle made it to the left side. The turtle buffed its totem at the start, so I went around and was just trying to delete others. It got to the other side. My defenders were strong and killed it. And then the flankers took out the totem before I could even get back to it. That feels good. Wow, another one that just like bursted totems open. I don't like that. It's probably an item that I can see so I can know if I destroy a totem, it's going to revive them. Seems kind of tedious to like prep for. Probably have to mouse over everything. So in the later rounds, it's probably worth to throw attackers in. I didn't bring attackers into this round on purpose just to see. They can sometimes keep a unit busy. Having my strong guys at the back though has been really cool. Mott has 18 bindings. That is awful. Flasks have increased effect. That's a Makanga tattoo. A seven adjacent passive skills acquired. 968, I get a Chaos Res tattoo with the flask effect. Round one Sephiroth and an Exalted Orb. I think I take the Exalted Orb because chances of me completing this set is pretty low. I haven't been farming Dominus maps at all, so. You know, actually, do I have any? I still haven't touched the stack decks. Got like 2000. No, I don't have any. I'm gonna pick Kiloava here and reroll to get a chance at round six because there's a chance he could lose. Nope, he gave me a five link destiny leather. Oof. A 21.7% in feet. I should probably take that. And a titanic shell. And my escorts are all attacking the turtle. Not exactly what I wanted. The enraged Kunkuns are supposedly mobile. Are they fast? They kind of have like a like a direct line charge to them. I don't feel like I like them as escorts. I think the spearfishers are faster than those are. Winged Sulfite Scarab. 980. Bound Fate. Get an attack block here. I'll reroll. 2020 Animate Weapon. That's not it. Loyalty Tattoo of Kiloava. He is being really stingy with that last spell block tattoo. 992 for all attributes. I will reroll Kiloava again. Hope Utula takes out Kahu. No, he did not give me the tattoo. Instead, for exalts. Okay, and then I'm going to have a final round with Kahu and his giant turtles. Somebody mentioned to me that if you get stunned and block it while channeling the totem, it, it's like a visual glitch or bug or something. So I've noticed, I, like, I, I can't just like guarantee get stunned. I died that time. But I can move around and then once the stun wears off, I'll teleport to where I was. And I can even blink and stuff. Like some, something strange is happening there. There's my exalts. Oh, no turtle. So I got stunned here. I'm gonna run in that direction. And when I get unstunned, I'm at the back of the room. How weird is that? So it's almost like it's not actually stunning me and I should like keep trying to play as if I'm not stunned the same as if the like internet like drops or something and you're waiting for the lockstep or whatever to speed it back up 1004 another bound fate and a six link ah it really sucks because I need that tattoo kilo Ava here has the best favor by far of anybody else. So I guess if I get stunned, I have to click again to start channeling the totem. Like, I want to know if I can keep channeling the totem while I'm stunned. That's what I'm trying to figure out now. I was told that I could. I haven't been able to see it for myself yet. And enlighten. 
Okay, here we go. I'm trying to channel the totem. Continue it. If I was, it like it didn't noticeably jump. Plus one max cold res requires maximum one adjacent passive skill allocated. Hmm. That's interesting. So it has to be on a dead end or you use the, what is it? I think it's called an impossible escape jewel that can warp you and you can allocate anything within the radius. In 16, the keystone tattoo. X gilded reliquary scarabs. Hello. Windscreen boots. Okay. In 28, chaos res. I think I just took down that totem. Like, I had to re-click it, but I'm pretty sure I did that while stunned. Again. Okay, to finish it off. Really weird. Awakened Ellie with attacks, level 3. Got it! Yes, a spell block tattoo. Let's go. Reroll Ikiaho. Because this is where you can get the cold res. Even though there's 13 chaos. Six link. 1040. Aura effect. 1052. Global defenses. 10 bindings. Okay, channeling again while stunned. I don't know if that's an exploit or if that is just a bug. Because if my character functions as if I was not stunned in like every regard. That's just when blocking attacks that stun me. So if I'm visually stunned, but mechanically I'm not. Like, which is actually the thing that's supposed to be happening there. Awakened Bernie damage, level 3. There's definitely bug reports about this block thing dating back to a month ago. Yeah, I stopped to research it, and like, I I found several threads, both on Reddit and the forums, talking about how when you get stunned by a blocked hit, like I am right now, like, the fact that I can run around and I end up over here is is worse than if I was just like stunned. So like I feel like it incentivizes me to try and just like okay I don't want to move so I know where my character is, and just continue trying to channel the totem. But at the same time I don't want to get my count banned for recording a video featuring some kind of exploit. But it's been around and talked about for well over a month so i don't know i guess the big thing is i just don't understand what the intended behavior actually is am i supposed to be stunned or am i supposed to not be stunned and if there's posts about it and nothing's changed like maybe like i don't know it's up in the air maybe they don't know if you if you should technically be blocked or stunned in that situation like, like i don't know two chances ring cartography scarab reroll ahuana and an exalt no projectile tattoo. Oh, and a titanic shell on the back line. Oof. Okay. And it got off instantly. Okay. That's the big question now is how worth is that exalt? Like, I guess there's the tournament reward to consider as well for finishing this round. I just let the rest of the enemies go. I, I didn't put down the void sphere. Just let my guys focus on the turtle. That is helping a bit. I have defenders on my side, so they go after my totems. Should be okay. This, um... Thunderbird that I have with the little like lightning thorns or whatever seems to do a lot of damage actually. All right, and freedom. Probably one of the smoothest attempts at that there's been. 1064 for global defenses and an exalt. Mm. I got stunned. And I wound up moving, and after I was unstunned, I tried to put down a Void Spear, but I put the Void Spear down over here. In 76, another Chaos Res, level of an Awakening Vitality, Grip of the Council. I don't know that I need that. 14 Chaos is better. Oh, that wasn't the last round even. Oops. Well, I get a 2020 increase duration. That's not bad. 1088, a Maximum Links, or Omen of Connections. There's two and three of the idols used. I am on fire. Maybe that was one of the things that I I grabbed. Well, the tailwind one I'd already done. Forbidden Tome. I re-rolled three added fire damage tattoos for that. 1100. Rarity. Prism Guardian. Max rolled. Yup. Bulwark Idol. Constructs a very long wall. Great Barrier Idol. Sure. 
This is the pool one. Okay, I don't know what that did. My guys are all red now. Okay, I'm gonna link to... Nope, I've moved way farther than I expected. I can walk to this totem and start channeling it while stuck. Like, if you're precise enough with your movement while stunned, you can actually move around and do other things with it. Our hungry's blessing. This is the one that pulls. Uh-huh, okay. Um, Jade one. Oh, I wasn't paying attention to the Titanic show. At least it was a flanker. Summon Spirit of Ikiaho when you use a travel skill while a unique enemy is in your presence. Okay. Oh, no, no, no. Did... Okay, I somehow survived that. Mm, I got I got stunned while the Creeping Frost was coming to me and I was able to move, but it also like disappeared right then. I feel like there needs to be a fix for that. But we've also gotten several patches for Trial of the Ancestors since like all the bug reports that I found. I don't know. That's goofy uh, it behaves this way and it's not always i must have moved no like that time i was stuck there it's one of those things too like once you know about it you're never gonna not try and do something while you you're stunned from a blocked hit 11 12 honored alliance 12 life salio's blessing Ahoa's blessing i think that one's different i think the last one was healing ailment immunity revives all totems within 50 units that costs a lot yeah there's still a bunch of these tribal reconstruction yeah, and taho is blessing okay there's two more i only need four after these raging storm idol that one's new tidal wave idol that one was on the list so let's buy this guy sell him here buy that one level 21 caustic arrow or three gilded bestiary scarabs i think i have a 21 caustic arrow no 21 caustic arrow isn't as good because you're better off with a 20 vol caustic arrow so best series scarabs oh i didn't look for turtles okay Whew. because this is oh no okay here's here's turtle it was a flanker winged blight scarab lanes of blight have additional reward chest chance for for an additional reward 1124 global defenses that's a buff to all teammates that creates a highly damaging explosion of fire when they die that was the fire that was on me I guess. Ooh, a titanic shell. Man, you gotta take Kahu up early. All right, got it. Okay, so supposedly I can... No? Hmm. I found another video. I only looked at one on YouTube. Like, he got stunned and frost blinked and visually moved while stunned. I can't do that. Well, may maybe I can't do it here. Because these stuns might actually be hits. Because I can actually take chaos damage. That one felt like a real stun. Again, yeah, it, well... No, okay, so I frost blinked while I was stunned right there. But I'm gonna stop worried about the fact that this tech exists. It's in other videos, so. Hmm, okay, this is an interesting situation. Ahuana needs to lose for me to have a chance at the projectile tattoo. So if I fight Ahuana here, Akoya and Tahanuku will fight each other. One of them will lose, then I fight them, then I have the chance to roll twice on Ahuana. So I actually fight Ahuana here. Yeah, yeah. Perfect. 2020 explosive trap and Ahuana's bite. Frostblink. Yep, I can frostblink to a different totem and start channeling it while stunned. And I'll actually move with the frostblink and know where I'm at, more importantly. 1136, max life. Freezing wave idol. You think that's a new one? Yep. And one more. Okay, so I get hit with chaos damage. Like, that stun is real. Like, I cannot do anything during that stun. Lani Hua's gift? That one is not on the list. Yeah, it's just not there. Strange. I'm gonna try and actually use this one to some kind of effect. Breeze's units? Maybe not. <laughs> Maybe they weren't far enough in. I did not get any. An Enlighten or an Enhance? Or a 2120 Withering Touch? Gotta be the Enlighten. I'm gonna buy this Lani Hua's gift and see if it gives it to me. No, it did not give it to me. I wonder if that was one added in after the league launched, potentially. 1148, Ellie Res, Max Sockets. Take the Ellie Res. Winged Abyss Scarab. An exalt from Ikiaho with not enough Valico to get the bird. Okay, gotta wait for Ikiaho to use Moon's Grace, the giant winter orb thing. Then I can channel totems without the Creeping Frost. When she takes that down and does like the Silver Comet and she'll start throwing them. There we go, winter orb, channel the totem. And then the second she gets done, there's the Creeping Frost. Got an Exalto. Four Exalts to do it again. All right, Ikiaho. 
I feel like with this build, I'd almost rather fight the giant turtle than fight Ikiaho ever. Because I spend... If, I, if I'm actively trying to destroy totems, I spend most of this match dead. Oh, I heard her come from the left. She moved to the left after I died this time. Okay, that frees this one up for more exalts. No! No, not the turtle there. Okay, so I need to set this up. Like, Thunderbirds, come with me. Spearfisher's solid. I guess the warrior. Two warriors might be better. This guy in defense, I guess. Ooh, go! Yeah, it's instant. And that's just going to be stuck there. Only reason I even picked Kahu here is because I wanted to prevent this. Try to keep all the other units away from it. It is taking damage. No. Uh-oh, that's not good. Oh yeah, I put a defender. It's Kahu standing on top of my totem right now. Oh, okay. Tuatara pushed him off and now he's over here. Well, I bet my Frost Blink does more damage than these arrows. Okay, okay. I channel. Good. Now that I'm getting better at like knowing how to deal with it more it, it doesn't seem as terrible like knowing it was there i kind of set up for it a little bit and i could still do it better first of life idol can't get it now but i'll get it this tournament if i buy the birthing spoon and i take it over here to mata sell it i can have a burst of life idol crazy dude let's remember to use it this time fully heals all teammates okay all right guys heal good challenge complete and I'm dead. 16 challenges done. Got the Beastmaster Helmet. Akiata has a Voltaxic Burst 2020 into a Leash of Oblation. Ah, oh, that do bear trap. They're actually everywhere. Those trawlers are insane. This is not looking good. I think I'm gonna lose this. Yeah, so let's just channel Rakiata's totem right now. Yeah, yeah, cool. Okay, I might be all right. They're still over there on mine. No, no, it sucked by the void sphere. Uh oh, I'm dead. This might be the first one I have to wait out and see what happens. They don't have any more flankers. I took out all the flankers. I still have a flanker, maybe two flankers. It'd be cool if I had the shade form, kind of like in the Battle Royale. Yeah, I could run around and see what's going on at least. I can make my map bigger. I can actually watch what's happening. I lost a totem. Oh, I lost another one. Oh, one totem left. Yep, over. Plus eight. Oh, and I don't get a reward. Oof. First tournament I haven't won since I started. Exalted Orb. Oh, okay. So they had an idol that buffed all these. That felt like a real match. Like, they were destroying my totems. I was destroying their totems. Oh, Kahu made it. And he's got a Call of the Brotherhood. Well, well, well. Okay, give me, oh, I need to sell, get a Jade Hulk. I think I can afford a Caldera Ravager. Okay, there is a Titanic shell. So I want this Jade Hulk with me. Put the Spearfishers on attack then. War Caller comes with me. Like the melee guys I want with me. It's not on this back middle one. And there's a chance I could make it. I've done it before. Go, 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 go. Hit this, hit the face run. Like, ah, uh, cool. I like the tension that comes from that, I will say. It's like the only thing that can really make one of these challenging. That Jade Hulk went really nicely, though. Hmm. Just there, I got stunned again while I was stunned. As if the game didn't know I was stunned. Tries. 18. Scourings. Not it. 14. Fall Orbs. 1168. Arcane Surge on hit with spells. Will be consumed when you use a chance orb on an item which can become unique to ensure it does so. Okay, well, I have that now. If you had that in SSF, what would you use it on? Because I don't know. I would have said Skyforth, but I now have a pair of Skyforths. So, Vine Orb? I think the Skyforth is a guaranteed because I don't think you can get a step in Erd from a Chance Orb. It also can't become the Sork Boots from the unique map from Delve. No lost Kahu with 15 Chance Orbs. He's probably going to lose. I go for favor. He wins again this round. That's real bad. Good, he lost. I think I'm going to fight him. Hope Ahuana beats Tahanuku. He doesn't have a turtle. No, he does have a turtle. It's just an attacker. At the bottom. Level 4 on the Awakened Unbelt ailments. Ahuana? Yeah. Okay. Six Link. Ah, oh, oh. I, I saw the t single tattoo. When you suppress spell damage from a unique enemy. I'm actually starting to wonder if it 
if it's a difference between attack block and spell block. Because there are sometimes I get stunned and just can't do anything. Sometimes I can. Like this time, I can do nothing. 1180. Melee hits Fortify. That's another new one. Honored Tattoo of the Paw. That is not a jewel. Ooh, Warcry cooldown recovery rate? I haven't seen that tattoo. I want a 1. 13 Chaos. Give me the projectile tattoo. Give me projectile tattoo. Yes! Ah, ha, 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 ha. Yes! Thank you. Yes. Let's go. Okay. Can't lose this. Oh, yeah. Got that one. On way back there. This one. Oh, no. You had a turtle. Oh, I didn't look for the turtle. Well, there's a turtle. So I'm going to have to fight for it. At least this turtle is movable. Oh, wow. I died instantly. I don't think I have any big guys in this. Got a lot of stuff fighting it. Wow. All right, where is it? Looks like it's probably this one. I gotta push them out of my area. Deaths are taking longer. Oh, I wanna launch so many projectiles. My flankers are doing more of the fighting on this. All right, re remove it. Please don't. Oh. Okay. Oh, that was scary for a second. Could you imagine losing your first projectile tattoo to a giant turtle? Oh, global defenses, but I have it. It is mine. One more. He's got a big turtle. Is there any chance? No, there was not. Come on. Call that Ravenger. Yeah. Wow. It is taking some damage from that. No. Almost there. Yep. Go, go, go. And we're out. Lycosidae. We rolled into six links zodiac leather. Still hoping to see that Rakiata sword. But what I would need the most right now is the Warrior's Tail Jewel. 1204. And to get a reservation efficiency tattoo. All right. Well, I guess that means I'll have to go again tomorrow. Got all kinds of crazy stuff today, though. From it, I have skills, fire, and additional projectile tattoo. Wild. But 16 exalts, 8 divines. Another Call of the Brotherhood, putting me at three. Got a Prism Guardian, always nice to have. Use six links that can disappear. Two Enlightens and an Enhance. Two Forbidden Tomes. Four Winged Scarabs. Only six Unmakings. I'm not targeting rewards, I'm trying to build a team most of the time. 142 Chaos. 237 Alts. And I have a chance unique item it is worth 2.2 divines and wow skyforth four chaos in trade wind screams worth more in trade at the moment we consume when you use an orb of chance on an item which can become unique to ensure it does so it doesn't say equipment so it technically could be used on a jewel there's so many things that could become but unique jewels are so rare i might be able to guarantee a taste of hate out of it it could potentially be a maro high erky the lion eyes could hit other bows maybe a soul taker i don't know there's a lot of options. So what are the currency counts? 41 exalts, 28 divines, and I still have to get the jewel from this. But that's going to do it for this one. We'll continue it tomorrow. I'd like to thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, definitely hit the like button as it really helps the channel out a lot. Subscribe to make sure you don't miss more videos from me. If you'd like to help support my channel, please consider using the super thanks to the heart icon just below the video or by joining to become a member. And I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.